There was a placard outside and it had on it all day breakfast. I thought, I'm not going to go in there. No, I'm not going to go in there. I can't be eating breakfast all day. I might be late for my evening meal. Well, anyway, still, I don't think there's anybody is so simple as my Uncle Ben. He is such a silly man. Do you know what he's been and gone and done? He went out into his garden and he painted his sundial with a luminous paint. Now, what do you think he's gone and done that for? Does anybody know? Well, he told me I painted my sundial with a luminous paint because I can go out and see what the time is by night. I said, now he's a silly, I didn't want to embarrass him because he's a lovely man. So I took him to one side. I don't know whether it's this side or that side. But it doesn't matter, does it? I took him to one side and I said, Uncle Ben, you don't have to paint your sundial with a luminous paint. All you have to do is go out there with a torch and shine it on the sundial. And then you know what the time is. <laughs> well, anyway, he made a very good job this time. So I said, well, you can give me a shave. But the last time you gave me a shave, you left a lot of hair on my little cheeks. So he said, I've got the very thing. So he put his hand into his trouser pocket very, very deeply and it was a bit embarrassing, he was doing it for a long time. And then all of a sudden, he pulled out a ball. It wasn't what you think, Marion. No, it wasn't what you think. It was, it was 
a wooden ball. It was a little wooden ball. And he said, right, I want you to put that in your, between your gums and your cheek. And he said, I'll make a good job. So I put it in behind my cheek. Like right that. And he gave me a shave and he made a very good job. And when he did it, he said, take it out and put it in the other side. Now, I was a little bit nervous. I said, what, what would happen if I swallowed it? And he said, well, you can bring it back tomorrow, just like everybody else. <laughs> right, Peter, uh, do, do you know any of these lovely people here today? Yep, that's one in that one there. One in that one. You know those days there. I've been nearly married nearly 17 years, you know, Dad. That's an amazing. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, some people don't even live the same. No, I think it's really amazing. I think they ought to have three chairs, don't you? Oh, yeah. I can remember, back in 1971, we had decimalisation and we had girls wearing hot pants. Is that right, Dad? So we had hot pants and hot pants. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Did any of you nice ladies wear hot pants when you were younger? Pussy pelmets. Pardon? What? Pussy pelmets. Pussy pelmets. <laughs> that sounds a bit embarrassing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. Could you tell me, was that, was that fashion unique to you, personally? No, oh, all over London. All very, over London? Very small little skirts. Wow. How come I never got to see that then? I remember. Well, you did like no, no, no. I remember they used to wear those. Like I know. Those belts were oh, wider yeah. than the skirts, weren't they? That they used to wear. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. yeah, but when they wore the belts without the skirts, that was your pussy belt. Oh, I see. Do you want to come up on stage and have a <laughs> <laughs> You could, because you could tell. I mean, fashion, fashion, the lady bringing. Fair day, you know, how it changes, you know. But we just stay the same for some reason. Yeah, we do, but we never change, do we? Uh, we people are like this, we are, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, well, we could sit here all afternoon. There is. I mean, are there any questions that anybody like to ask us? Because we're quite uh, versatile, aren't we, Greg? We can ask yeah, you. Yeah, well, we've we got our scripts already on, didn't we? We've set our time. I know. I think we'd better make an exit now. Yes, yeah, so I think we've got a call. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.